You probably don't question whether you have the right to a healthy environment, to breathe clean air, drink clean water, to have productive soil that grows the food you eat. But you'll be surprised to know this is not actually your legal right, not in Canada. So what does this mean to you? Think about where you live. Now, imagine for a moment that the community you call home is surrounded by chemical plants and oil refineries. Your friends and family breathe polluted air, and their health problems, like asthma and cancer, are common. You wake up to sirens warning of a fire at a nearby chemical plant, and your dinner is interrupted by text message alerts about the toxic leak down the street. Imagine this is where you live. Welcome to Sarnia's Chemical Valley, an area of southern Ontario where this is real life for hundreds of people, like Ada and her daughter Felicia. Like most Canadians, Ada believes her family has the right to clean air in a healthy environment, and she thinks the government should recognize that right too. Ecojustice is helping Ada battle in court for her environmental rights to be legally recognized by the government. Meanwhile, the refineries and chemical plants keep on polluting. Of course, this doesn't just happen in Canada. Here's a story of a different valley. The residents here used to call this valley the Valley of Death. Surrounded by industrial facilities and their toxic emissions, the city of Cubatao in Brazil was one of the most polluted places in the world. Then Brazil stood up for Brazilians. In 1988, they changed their constitution to recognize each person's right to a healthy environment. Since then, the government has paid to clean up Cubatao's air and water. Charges have been laid against the worst polluters, and stronger laws have helped stop new offenders from putting people and the environment at risk. Brazil isn't alone. More than 100 nations around the world recognize their citizens' human right to a healthy environment. So why doesn't Canada? What's happening in Sarnia shouldn't happen in any of our communities, to any of our families. Learn more about what you can do to stand up for our water, our air, our rights. Visit ecojustice.ca.